Hello everybody and today I am back with Mix Daily Trading. What's up everybody and let's go. I'm back with Mix Daily Okay. Happy Thursday everybody. Weekend soon. So nice. What can I say? Happy Thursday once again everyone. Hope you're doing fantastic today. And I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah. Hope you're doing very well and let's have fun and a nice training. Hey, Karma, how are you doing? Are you standing in the middle of an ocean? <laughs> in a dirt cage, you know? <laughs> Or, or 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 did the green guys tell told me misinformation? You go from here, yeah. Did the green guys misinform me, or is it true? <laughs> I don't wonder. Because the I I finally got into contact with the green guys, and they told me you're stranded in the middle of an ocean. With nowhere to go in a dirty <laughs> environment right now. Yeah, yeah. But surprisingly, he answered my call. That is very surprising for me. Because I thought I was in their blacklist that they would never. I would never answer my call, but they surprisingly did. And yeah, I talked to them. And they told me I already have 33 BM norms. 33! You know, they were counting each and every one of them, and already got 33. This is just crazy to even think about it. I earned the VM. I didn't get a call. <laughs> I didn't come. They didn't get a call. No, 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 no. They did. They did. I talked with the main guy, and um, yeah, he said that I already have 33 norms and that I can apply for a BM title. So I'm doing very good today. I, mean, I need to call them after stream how to apply for the BM title. Ah. So I got enough norms. So, And I got enough rage, I think. So, I'll be the second ever BM. Yeah, busy. No, no, after stream, I think I will find time. I think I will, t they, they will have time. I'm, I'm pretty sure. They told me that after stream they will be free, so <laughs> so yeah. I don't know why they think they they why do you think that they are busy because they of course aren't. Uh, yeah. Do Satorov, that's a dead draw. See winning. I doubt that. Yeah, he wasn't. I always thought they are busy. Then I gave them a call and they replied. So, yeah. I made you one. Oh, it's my opponent. Then five minutes already. But Karma, are you really sure that they're busy? Because on the website thegreenguys.com, it says that they are free to get to call whenever you want. Oh no. 
or did I find the wrong website? And they also, there is a command slash slash check your BM norms. And I have 33 already. I have no influence on them. Okay. Okay. Hi Pufa, what's up? How are you doing? Where is my opponent? Six minutes no opponent. Four more otherwise I'll play somewhere else. Turu turu turu, oh free queen, bouches gambit, turu 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 turu, na na, sacrifice the rook, turu turu Ah. What is about fire fish bots and titty bots? Yeah, what? What is happening? Plains and Oster Poik for M. I played this guy in the marath in the marathon, right? Yeah, f seven times. Hello, good luck. Oh, B5, goodness. I don't know how to play this because like like never got the, to play the, I mean maybe never is, you know, is too much but like very rarely I get to play that so I'm not sure if I'm making the best moves Doing well, hope you. Yeah, I'm doing great as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking, Bufa. Doing very, very well. And also very good to hear that you're doing well. If you destroy your opening the game, thank you. I'll try my best. <laughs> try my best, but we'll see what will happen out of it. Because if he will move either his knight twice or his bishop thrice. So, as we know, this breaks the opening principles, but, but yeah, okay, it takes with the knight, I was thinking bishop to d6 is a nice idea. I need to at the end, though. Oh, by the way, happy final day of summer, everybody. Who lives in Europe, I guess, because, like, if you live in South America, then, then it's winter. <laughs> so, happy final day of winter, if somebody is watching from South America. I don't know. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if that's a good move, but it just feels tempting. Like a bug. I'll try. I'll try. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll we'll see. What is this bad, by the way? It looks nice. Super Ultra Combo 2023. Nice. Not sure what it is, but nice match. Do 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 do
Let's go seven times in the marathon. He uh, first game I played him he was twenty three ninety two, and then once I played him he was like twenty five fifty. Wow. And one game he just resigned. He, he was scared of playing me. <laughs> so psychological pressure <laughs> on him. Yeah, I'm gonna see how you play the best way. Because I'm not sure how I leveled up. I'm really not sure if that's how you play this after B5. A takes. Takes queen, B, uh, queen E7. Makes sense actually. Queen C7, D5 is there. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess queen to D2. It's queen C7, D5. Was, what's the background? It's a secret background. Do you like it or not? It's not like found it on some wallpaper site. <laughs> it's not anything, anything like. Not any artist drew it personal or anything. Just, just looked a bit on some wallpaper sound site. Oh, nice move as well. It's like when you want to guess in like ninety two. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, wallpaper access, blah blah blah. I watched it at wallpaperaccess.com. Not an advertisement, unfortunately, but but yeah, <laughs> just so you know where to find it. But I'm free, free for any advertisements. Okay, so ninety-two, just developing, you know. I mean, it's not for. Uh, two minutes more than I did already, so at some point it's in time trouble it may or may not pay off. Take, 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 and then he gets 92. Um. <laughs> Look at E3. <laughs> Okay, she looks stupid but funny. Just uh, like activating the rook. Not sure. Go rook c1. Not really sure if it's a good move to be honest. Doesn't feel like it. But okay. Yeah, on this side there is a lot of cool vape oh va what's wrong with me? Wallpapers. So yeah, I'm sure you can find something for yourself as well. Uh I mean <clears throat> take take ninety four take 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 but hmm, queen, uh, I think I was maybe gonna take and then like queen d4 or something, <clears throat> and like queen a7, but then e2 b2 hangs. Mm, but okay, I'm pretty sure I have to take here. 
Yeah, he pre moves bishop e4, of course, and queen d4, but then rook e2. <coughs> and I'm not sure. Queen e7, rook b2, queen b8, queen f8, queen e5, rook e2, knight d4, a knight d4 against bishop d2. So. Two. I'll go for queen d4 anyways. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, because I mean, sure, I had this most likely force in. Okay, he went uh, d5. Knight e1 now. He gets knight c2 at the end. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. If we go knight d2, he gets e5 after takes takes, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's hard to find a move actually. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. Rook e1, queen c5, queen e5. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, my time advantage just vanished. Completely. Yeah, I guess rookie one, but he gets ninety six simply winning a pawn. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Oh my throat. <coughs> mm hmm. Six. Okay, I'm gonna play b three. Because this pawn would be a weakness in some, in some variations. Most likely, it's not the best move, but you know it feels practical at least. Yeah. And by the way, guys, tomorrow <clears throat> at six p.m. CET, the long-awaited thematical Evan Gambit tournament. It's gonna be played one and a half hours, two plus zero, so don't forget you to join the Discord. I'm gonna send the link to the Tony there, guys. So if you don't wanna miss the link, join the Discord. Okay, Queen D1 ID is now knight d2. And if bishop d2 my rook does hang, so then I'll simply take queen c2. Uh oh wait, but knight d2 is not a move. What am I talking about? Oh goodness, position looks really bad. <clears throat> I don't know what to play to be honest. Uh, I don't know, H4? Because like I'm literally Zugzwang, in Zugzwang situation right now. Feels like I mean, move the queen, no point. Move the rook also in weakening the pawn. Move the knight. Didn't have a square actually to move the knight except of h four, which is ugly. Yes, it's knight d two. Knight d two, rook d two. I take queen somewhere. I take and then t wait a sec. Did he blunder, or am I missing something? Well, I'm gonna go for it. Maybe I maybe I missed something, but <clears throat> still, I mean, it's queen a four, I guess, but. Even though I sacked two pawns, I get an active play. So yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> even if I will sack two pawns, I'm definitely gonna be more happy with the position than I was, for example, even here when I was zero pawns down. Yeah, queen e4 is played. Takes and I think queen d7. So like queen e8, queen f7, I guess or something. And if queen e4, rook d1. And yeah. <clears throat> sure I'm worse but I at least get some active play and time trouble is somewhat near so it's gonna be interesting because he may panic in time trouble uh, or he may not panic in time trouble <laughs> we will have to you will have to stay tuned we will have to stay tuned and find out guys but yeah I guess rook d1 activating my rook uh, he cannot take a queen c6. 
and I mean, I, I have some play at least. Uh, sure, I'm worse. I'm not hiding. I'm not denying or hiding the fact that I'm much worse. <clears throat> but at least from practical point of view, I have active here this queen e7, rook e2. I was guessing this idea. Uh, but I'm not sure. Looks looks bad. Ay ay ay. Looks quite bad there. This is rook d4. Mm. <clears throat> Uh oh. <laughs> when you have a rookie two, knight of three is threat, and like rookie one as well, and like my my all active pieces. I'm gonna be passive, so mm, I really not sure. Really, I'm not sure what to play now. Oh goodness! Maybe queen d4, queen trade, and pray to save the position there. I don't know. I'm lost there though. And my time advantage is also gone. Ah. Uh, And also gave him a ton of time to think. Oh no, wait, but there he had Rook C1. I don't even see him move. It's like everything is a weakness. I really just don't see a good move. Oh goodness. Oh gosh, I thought for too long. Check. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Yeah, I so for too much. I'm not sure if I even went for the best. Just looks really terrible here. But we can get a perpetual, yeah. I was thinking something like h5, rook e2, rook d8. And like the idea is if queen e1, king h2, I think he has to make a perpetual, knight g4, knight f2. But I'm not sure. Maybe I actually should have went for it. I feel your fate, what's up? h5, yeah, maybe that was the best try. This rookie one, king eight. Yeah, that was the best try, right? Why didn't I go for it? Oh well. Let's try to create something here. I think I can play this h5 idea in the future. For example, if he does something like a5, and I'm not gonna reload pitch when I have less than one and a half minutes. Yeah, this, this. Uh, queen of seven. This queen is six. Okay, what? And yet, yeah, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Uh, yes, rook f2, queen b2, or what? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, rook g2. Isn't this a perpetual? Yeah, it's queen e2. It's not a perpetual. King h3, knight of 2, king g2, knight d1. Oh, it's not a perpetual. Yeah, that was a bad game. With white, I just got dead lost uh, very early on. Wait a sec. Hold on. Wait, where do I check him from?
I don't know, but check. 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 And now I'm not sure where to check. 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 Should have checked. Nah. Should have checked from no. Yeah. Yeah, not sure if it was the point for him. That was a terrible game. Yeah, I don't know what have I done this game. I mean I got like dead lost. Here I should have had a perpetual, no? No. Yeah, he goes through G6. And yeah. Sure no. <laughs> Even for the memes reloading the page with less than two minutes, it's like a terrible idea. And yeah, unfortunately I didn't manage to get any stalemate ideas. Yeah, that was a terrible game though. Here I was fine. King H1. Oh right, King H1, this, this. And here I just have prepared, I have Queen of 5 G6, Queen D7. Uh, but that's difficult to see. Queen d4 mistake, I should have went knight d4. Okay, so I should have went for this line. But how do you play in this opening? I mean, I played well. I played well, bishop d6, I should have played knight c3, knight b5. Okay, then he got winning, then with this knight d3 he blundered it away. But then the skinish one is difficult to find. Yeah, that was a bad game. It's a terrible game. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good line, but like I played terribly against it. That was the problem. Could have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> the buffet is just a game. But I played this, like, come on. I played this so, so badly. Like. Yeah, knight d4. But I thought like going for this endgame he'll be slightly better. Apparently he wasn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean of course I saw knight d4. I was debating whether I go queen d4 or knight d4. Played queen d4, which was a big mistake. And Queen e8. I should have taken then it's matching game. This guy's pretty strong, but I think I crushed him once and like Ah oh, no, okay, it was the other guy. And um, playing this matching game is from I don't know. Let's go d5, uh, d4. Goes for e6, right? Yep. Oh, he takes. Here. <clears throat> this uh, he wants to play this <laughs> I have no idea I mean I'll go for it I guess sure I don't have much idea how to play it there e5 h6 I think that's fine, right? I'm not losing immediately, am I? I know this is super complex lines. And unfortunately, I don't know how to play them. Yeah, Shark between Islav, exactly. 
problem is I haven't learned it at all, so... But as he's thinking, maybe he also doesn't know how to play that. <laughs> So knight d7, do I take or play queen of 3? Or will he not play? Or am I lost already? Okay, he plays knight d7, thank god. Uh, I play rook g8. Queen of 3. I mean, it looks interesting, right? I'm gonna take e takes f. But once I think I played in title Tuesday or somewhere, I played something like this, I just get destroyed. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, when you're a knight on, I don't want to risk it against the 2700. Playing some queen of three. Maybe it's the main line. Yeah, bishop b7. Mm. You play d5? When I d is to take. If b4 I take, this I take. I don't know, from human point of view it looks interesting. But I don't know. As I said, I have zero idea on how to play this. So, any professionals here, please don't judge the play. From my side because I don't know how to play the best way I like of course I know this I know this opening ideas but I don't play this at all so uh, yeah, I don't know how to if I'm playing it well yeah that's what I'm worried of <laughs> that I'll somewhere uh, go for the wrong move order and then my opponent will just get a better position but but okay that's why it's training. Professional is here watching. <laughs> yeah, the green guy should be watching today. Gonna earn a lot. I, I already earned two norms, I think, previous game, no? There's someone else, okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean, the, the, the thing that makes me happy is that she's thinking, you know? How, what did we get in, ah, he went for c5. Which is, I don't like this move. I love my bishop on g5. <laughs> Why does it have to go? No, my bishop. It was so good there. And then I have h4, no. Okay, I'm gonna go for something my, my brain just thinks is good. Uh, this. a4, b4, knight d4, bishop d5, knight d6, takes, takes, takes c4. If this seems like queen h5, I don't know. <laughs> As you know me, I'm very greedy. So if I see, a, if I can take a free pawn, I'm of course gonna take it. Because who wouldn't? Yeah, here is that queen h5 perhaps is good. Go for it. Let's go for it. I mean, of course, I want to play g3, bishop h3, or bishop g2, and castles. That is the dream, but I need three moves for that. Uh, yeah. g3, bg2, castles. In g3, if this, you get knight e4, and then he gets queen b4. But queen e2, bishop g2.
I should just play bishop e2 and then castle. <gasps> Perhaps, actually. Maybe not a bad idea. Simply bishop e2 and then simply castle. So then, at least, I have crazy play with my king safe, hopefully. Definitely, I don't mind that he has three half open, uh, two fully open, and one half open file I mean at my king, I don't know. That's not the point, you know. Not the point at all. The point is that my king will be castled. Castles equals sick, safe. Mm. Okay, he castled first. Should I take a b first? I mean, I think it's forcing him to take, right? So, like, at least a file will be open. I hope it shouldn't hurt, but <laughs> I'm not sure. And now castle! It's not mating me either or winning my queen in one move or anything, right? I think so. Yeah, I thought about this. Bishop f3. Should see maybe bishop e4. So they... I friendly ask this rook to go somewhere. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, I think. To play bishop f3, but I'm not sure. I thought though, but Queen H3 and D6 threat, ne? Queen H3, F5, or maybe I should go. Oh, no, Queen H4, of course, I lose. So, if I want to continue playing, I think Queen H3 is the move. Because Queen H6, he gets Rook G6 and repetition. Yeah, F5, so so as well. I mean, it looks terrifying. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see whose attack will be faster. Or will we just on the next move trade queens and then there will be no attacks for anyone. <laughs> it can be that as well, I guess. Queen g7. Oh gosh. I mean, when you open place queen g7, you, you already start thinking that he has something prepared, right? Uh, I mean, okay, takes. Yeah. Uh, knight b5? <laughs> Should I be greedy? <laughs> Should I be greedy here? Because uh, knight b5, my threat is like rook a7 and perhaps checkmate him somewhere. But knight b5, he gets rook h8. And if I don't checkmate him, he checkmates, she checkmates me. That's a teeny tiny problem. This, this, this. If this queen is three, I mean, if I don't mate him, I don't know. I'm terrified. Oh, goodness me. I'm scared to me. Maybe I should just play g3. <laughs> just play g3 and say, nah, you aren't attacking me. Uh... Uh, maybe it's not a terrible idea. Of course, greediness in me wants to play knight b5, but maybe the, the other one isn't bad as well. I don't know, g3. I mean, idea is queen g2, so that I regroup my queen, and that he doesn't play rook h8 with mate in two threat. But maybe I should have been brave and played knight b5, but after rook h8, I think I'm dead lost. Rook a7, king c6, I play c6. 
Now, how do I continue my attack? <laughs> All right, I don't know, rook a5, rook a1, doubling up, something like that. Super spicy position. Oh goodness. Uh, here, knight c5. Does he actually defend like that? That easily? Is that exposed skin? This is fine? Well, it looks like it actually. Uh, then how do I continue my attack and how do I win the game? That's a question. I should have won somewhere there. Now, like, it feels like I, I don't know what to do. No, rookie seven. I don't know. Very disappointed, though. Feels like I should have. I had something forced. Maybe I should have just been brave and played 9b5. So I got like some defensive ideas. <sighs> ah, I was winning there. Oh no. No, but yeah, rookie cheat, it's crazy to calculate there. Queen of 3, thank you so much. Baroque 0 for 10 bits. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Okay, Queen g6. This I take the rook if rook d6, I go queen h8, e5 thinks queen b8 ideas, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Like I'm just making some moves. Oh, queen h5. Oh no. Oh, is it a forced queen trade? The queens, no. I have to take my attack. It didn't even start it, but ended already. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like horse, and I have no time. Yeah, e four. Yeah, now he has a zillion strong pawns, while I have just not pawns, but weaknesses. <gasps> and I have no time. I don't know, d7, if you can hear rook e5. Maybe 9b5, rook e5. You know. Takes. This hangs. Maybe it's not too bad. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Uh, okay. Here, if he takes rook a7. Mm. 
Yeah, I should have left a bit more time, but okay. I thought 9b5, maybe that's a good idea or not, I don't know. Ah, come on, I gotta move, I have no time left. Yeah, I don't know, that's just desperation. I have no time left. Yeah, I thought so. Here. This. Yeah. Oh, why am I playing so badly today? Like, yeah, it was for sure better. I definitely, like, wasn't lost. I just like mess it up. Maybe rookie six was better actually. Hold on. Yeah, the problem is I have no time. I thought for too much. Maybe you can take d7. G4? No. No! Oh no! Oh, I actually was close to flag him. No! The rematching game. If not this unlucky pre move, and if I, if I would pre move rook b6 and like king h4, I can actually flag him. Oh no! Yeah, just rook b6, of course. I thought you would go rook h1 trying to win the pawn, but you went rook f8. Because he already had like 16 seconds. He sought for 40 seconds, one sought for three. Ah. F4 won. Right, so that's my, yeah. So that's this. And I go D takes C. And Rook H8, I get Queen F3 and then Queen F2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today I'm playing so badly. All right, I had this, 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 rook d7, this, rook d5, and then rook c8. Oh my goodness, yeah. d6, just one. Yeah, I don't know. That was so, yeah, like, I was winning on multiple occasions. 
I played well? Yeah, just d6 wins by fours. Attention <laughs> by the green guys. Then, okay, okay, c4, eight, yeah. And I still somehow played with 80 accuracy. And then queen h4, yeah, queen f1, I blundered queen h5. Queen f1, I'm still in game. Then I was lost, and still I could actually flag him. If I wouldn't pre-move this rook b8, and if I would just wait, I could check him, gain some time, come back to b6 at three pre-moves, because he thought at least for a second, about, uh, about a second for each move. Yeah, I could have flagged him, no. I just check rook b6, rook b7, rook b6. And I'm fine. Plains more Shabba Dorbidi. That's the opening from yesterday. Hello, good luck. He's from Spain. Yeah, I don't know. Karma, how many, how many norms is that? How many norms do the green guys give for that play today? Yeah, I don't know, how did I find d6? Like, idea, but should be some queen f3. They can't watch. Then why would I pre-move rook b8? Like, that's such a risky pre-move to do. Yeah, I simply would, could have waited to play rook b6, rook b7, rook b6, rook g6. And even if we trade a pair of rooks, I could just pre-move king back and forth. And then good luck for to him for winning that. Yeah, he he thought for over a minute while well, I thought just for three seconds. And he was thinking for a second on each move. So you could have flagged him easily. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, today I'm playing terribly. G4. What if I take, 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 nah, queen b6, I don't know. I mean, it's for sure not terrible, I hope, but I don't know. Takes, takes, bishop d6. That's something you want to go for against lower rated openings. Uh, it's end games, of course, but. Or like somewhat symmetric positions. But okay. Takes. Both have weak isolated pawns. And G3. Mm. <laughs> I didn't win this. It's a good question. I somehow make it imbalanced, how is any? I don't know, b5, creating weakness on a6, re removing the weakness from b7. a3. Um, it would be cool to have like my knight on e6, but this pawn will hang. I mean, the other knight from f6 to e6. Uh, I 
So Karma, you're telling me for eight blunders I wouldn't even get a single norm from the green guys? This is unbelievable. For eight terrible blunders, none deserve the norm? I'm not sure if that is real, huh? to see the blunders live <laughs> what they can't right now uh-huh yeah how 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 on planet earth can I win this position I don't know get in my night to c4 or something I just don't know how I can it's like it's very drawish But yeah, I should have kept more pieces on the board. Yeah, this I saw g6, just like that. Uh, removing his queen somewhere. And if queen h3, king g7 or something. Queen c2, knight c6, I guess. And what was like painful that like if first game I just got pretty much destroyed from the opening and okay got destroyed got destroyed right but last game I even got chances first I was winning like twice and then also I could very well flag him because he just moved my rook back and forth and that's a flag but I accidentally pre-moved I thought he would go rook h1 trying to win my pawn but he didn't, yeah, but of course, rook f8, rook b6, rook b7, rook b6, rook b7, and then rook g6 or rook h6, and as, as he was spending a second on move, then I could very, very well just simply flag him, but then I just blundered to rook in one move. A4. Takes 95 forwards. Oops. Yeah, takes 95. 95, 92? And I mean, takes this, 92. If takes, I take the pawn up. Takes, 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 and then takes. Rook hangs, bishop hangs. And yeah, I'm gonna try that. And if he doesn't know 95, then queen b4 or something looks nice. Maybe rook b8. Maybe even 94. Yeah, he goes, but okay, just gotta make sure this, this, 95. I mean, okay, I think I should be okay. This, knight of six, queen of six, and then d1 hangs, f3 hangs, and I'm a pawn up. That should be good. Let's see if anything else. I don't think so. Okay, if I blunder, I blunder. nothing I can do about it because otherwise if I don't take it worse position I think oh the green guys came hello green guys welcome how are you doing green guys did I do watch please rewatch the stream I earned eight BM norms they are very very deserved you will love them <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, the green guys! Yay! They are here. Oh, is it not the green guys? Did I confuse them with somebody, Karmar? Or is it the green guys? <laughs> I thought they look a little bit more serious than without even a suit. Just an emoji. Okay. I don't know why they don't have a suit or anything, because like they are serious gentlemen and ladies, right? Why don't they have a just a very suit and a tie, huh? I think they should have it, no? I mean, super important people and not having a suit. That is absolutely terrible. This thing can go a while. So maybe Miss Night B2. Like, can you imagine some very important person coming in and he doesn't have a tie and a suit? Like, that is absolutely terrible. Well, I'm happy about that. Most likely it's still gonna be more or less equal, but you start for about three minutes. And even if I'll have a three two three v two rook end game, there are chances, you know. Especially when he'll be low on time. Okay, he takes. I mean, I have to take. Right now I'm a pawn up. Even though it's a double, they are passers. He is a passer, but my knight is blocking it. So, yeah. Okay, one, of course, makes sense, trying to win the pawn, trying to win the pawn back. Um, can I please tell the green guys to buy a suit and a tie? <laughs> Do I go knight b6, protecting the pawn? Uh, and perhaps like rook d8, queen d4 ideas. Yeah, I think it's fine. Was I'm wondering something, hopefully not. If d5, I think I can take queen f6. <coughs> Was it very busy to even buy a suit and a tie? Yeah, I just have to play faster. Like last game, I played too, too slowly. I had no time left. Okay, rook d8. Idea to win that. Takes. Queen a5, queen of 6. Okay, let's just take and make him think. Queen e5, yeah. Queen f6, rook a3 is there, unfortunately, that I don't win by force. But, 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 but what do I do then? Knight b6, queen a6, queen b2. So this, 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 queen f6. My idea is to push the pawn. If he goes rook e3, uh, Queen of six, rook a three. 
maybe 626. Mm. I mean, there it looks fine, to be honest, I think. On this rook d1, I mean, the bishop doesn't actually hang, so you can simply move the rook. You can take rook a3, hold rook a4. Missed that completely. So maybe I should play knight b6, this move order. Ah, uh, but then he gets rook d1, then queen c7, takes 6, and finally, let's think, go knight b6, queen e6, then queen f6, force and rook a3. Because if queen f6, he could even go rook d1, and if I take, he takes d8. Queen f6, rook a3, king g7, rook d2, I don't know. Yeah, I think rook d2, activating my rook is a pretty good idea. Then maybe this pawn at some point may hang. King g7. Yeah, it's also nice that I have more time because the last game says for too much. Now you just got like even a terrible position, but just no time. And you just got flagged. Okay, King g7. I don't have anything forced, I think. So I think King g7 simply. It's fine. Just like no checks at all. This. Wait, but this blunders queen d4. Queen d4, threat is to take, and if rook is 3, take queen e3. There should be 2, and this just cannot be good, can it? Maybe it can. <laughs> um. I mean, I can just play some random moves and flag him, but I want it to look nice as well. Ruby 2, queen a6. Okay, queen d4, let's make him play bishop e2. I want to play rook e3 and blunder. Because if, if this, this, queen e6, this, this, queen e1, this is a threat, and if queen f1, I take, take, rook b3, take, take, I'm winning, I think. Okay, goes queen f1 immediately. Knight c4, knight e3 just sends the game on the spot, right? Knight c4 and knight e3 check. I think it should end it on the spot. Yes, no time as well. Finally, I win! Where's your goal to improve? Today I didn't play too well, but at least... This game, I'm quite happy with it. Okay, do I do I take or do I take knight f1? I think I'll take. And... I don't know, queen b3, queen a3, perhaps queen e3, so no check from a1. I don't know if there's much stop at BD. Finally, a win chat. Let's go. It's from Spain. Good game, thanks. That that was that required a lot of games to win, but I managed to. <laughs> uh, two nil nil, and actually a good game. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I could have won last game if I wouldn't land a rook by pre move. It was very good, even on the clock. You know, I was down on time. He was playing too slowly. Geez, thanks, Karmar. Uh, this this. Uh huh. Wait, bishop of seven. Yeah, bishop of. S take and take. Boom! Plus eleven. Ooh, ooh, nice. So what do we? I think we have this puzzle, haven't we? It's queen h three, knight f three, rook f three, queen a one. Something like that. Clap. Thank you. 
Rook of one, queen d4, king h1, queen d3. I remember this puzzle. It was definitely this as the first move. Do we simply take with the knight and we come back to g5? Or no? Let's say queen e2. But maybe it is good. Or do I simply take queen e1, king g2, queen b1, f5? How are you doing, Nachi, by the way? Sorry that I forgot to ask. Yeah, plus 9. Nice. Okay, rook f1, g3. Rook h1, king g2. Rook... I don't know. Rook h... Rook a g1. It's... Maybe it's g4. No, it has to be this. Whoa! It's not. Is it g4? It is g4. Huh. And then check, check, and then, and then, and then, check, and then takes, and then check and rook a1. That was difficult. That was very difficult. It's not bad that I missed it. Of course, I should have saw a little bit more. Okay, queen of 5 straight in the mate, right? And if rook of 8, queen d5. So exam tomorrow, and I wrote 5 as the exam this week. Gosh! Is it finals? Or did the school year start and you already have five weeks, uh, six exams in a week? Yachi, that is terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. I think it has to be. Prelims, okay. I guess rook f2, I guess. That's the idea. No, but that is absolutely terrible. Six exams in a week. We have to take each is h7. This if rook f2 I go queen h5. Yeah, I think so. And here check, yeah. Plus five. We get we, we already did, then we dropped and now we are back on pirate. Just just when you wrote the message, I'm back to 3900. So yes, we did. <laughs> um as you wish. As you wish from Pirate. You need to say, we only get 4,000 today, and then BOOM! I get plus 100 this puzzle, right? Bishop d5? Yep. And... Queen c5, he gets rook e5. My second last set of school exams. Ah, nice, okay. Okay, good luck, yeah, we are with you. You can do it, Chachi. For one, I sold for 20 seconds more than target time, I get plus 5. And for one, I got plus 11. For one, I got plus 9, I think. It was like that. Do I play queen c5 or do I go bishop b7? Should I win a pawn? <laughs> oh no. Should we say that actually does look terrible? Maybe it is no. Maximum is plus twelve, I think. Or thirteen if you solve some super puzzle. No, I don't even simply take root one. No. Whoa. I mean, sure, I saw this move, but like, it's great. I wasn't sure. Stranger chess. Uh, explain the question deeper, please. What is the move? And of course, if you if you try every single move in a puzzle, can't enjoy the process, and when you lose two games when you are better, also can't enjoy that, but I like it. Hell, uh, what even can be the move? I, mean, I tried that. What? No, I tried that. 
Wait, but also, what if queen d5? But I didn't try that. Yeah, just like, what do I play after queen d5? Oh, queen of six. I'm blind. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, I can really miss queen of six, mate. <laughs> Entire process is good. Of course, when you lose, it's not super enjoyable, but I like the whole process. <laughs> Wait, so here, threats to take this. I go queen h5, h1, h5, h3. Good. All right, that was pending, that's why it was simple. Ah, uh, like we need sixty protects through E eight. So with the move, but after five, six more, my brain stops working. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so queen h6, knight e8, rook e6, f e, bishop e6, king h8, that's uh, made on f8, f8, and if uh, rook f7, knight g5, knight f6, knight f7? Yes. Do I take, and then... I mean, I have to take, but yeah. Okay, it's not rookie one. Either this or king g2 or bishop f1. Bishop f1, f takes e. This is a king g2 or knight d1. Knight d1 doesn't simply get knight f6, this and that's mate, right? So here, this, this, um, yeah, I think it's counterintuitive. Now do I go king h3 or, do I be um, or should I be brave and take? No, can you see there is queen h2, rook h2? Oh god, it works there. Can f3? Yeah, I think can f3. Yeah, don't, don't create a wheel. Uh, king g3, I mean, it just felt like incorrect, right? Yes, bishop g4. Yeah, like, okay, miss queen d7, but yeah. Just like felt with my skin that it can't be correct. And it was, unfortunately. Uh, a check, king f2, check, king e1, check, king f1, check, check, this, mate. Rook e1, king f2, queen here, there, rook e3. Is it gonna go rook e d5 or what? Then I go king c7, this is not a simply escape. So check. Rook e3. Ah, rook e3, rook h6 or what? And, uh, huh. Oh, goodness gracious. What is going on there? <laughs> mm. Maybe I'm not actually, no. I mean, okay, if I, if I go to the back rank, I'm getting mated. So it definitely is in rook e3, rook h6, king e7. King e5, there is rook h5, I think he wins as well. I'm not sure, but I think so. And what else do I have? Rook a e8? Looks very slow. I mean, no matter what, it feels like rook e3 is correct. Uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, I didn't see another move which can be correct. I mean, rook g8 is only check in this position. That can be correct. Uh, but in king h3, rook e3 there, and then I hide on e8. But what if king h4? King h4? I'm not too sure.
Hmm. Okay, three so rook h six. H six h six. This I'm gonna mate it. This I think it's terrible. This this. I'm two points up currently. It's play queen g six. Hmm. Not sure. Can't be rook three, I think. Like just like after rook h six, he gets too too good of a thing. But after rook g eight, king h four. I'm also completely not sure. Checks are over. Queen d five sees threat. No. No, but this repetition. Yeah, but what do I do? No. No, she's threatening queen e5, rook of 6. You seem that? No, okay, that's, that is hard to find. Rook e6 and transfer into an endgame. Alright, queen c3. I'm pretty sure, I mean, it has to be queen c3. Because otherwise I'm not winning. Yeah, queen e3 gets d6, right? I think so. But if I take e seal as 4 pawns, it's fine. Maybe I should take check him on g3 first. And go queen b3. So that I can take b5 with check. Then I get like this, yeah, I think so. And check. Alright, 6 correct, 2 failed, 39-10. Nice. Now guys, I'm gonna be right back quickly. You can watch the game of top rated. I'm gonna be right back, see you in a minute or two.
Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm not gonna play Komodo today. I played a lot of games against Life Opponent. So I'm gonna lay some, then we're gonna do the Evans Gambit and gonna stream. In the instant trust, Fido Master Poik 4M. 341 for me and 411 for him. He played well. I didn't play so well. Bishop d6 was not a good move. Rook c2 in accuracy here to go for d5. This, this, and here I'd go for knight d4. This, I saw this line, and I would be fine. Queen d4, I got a worse position. I'd go for queen e3. Oops. I had to go for queen e3 still with fine position because if this, I get knight d4 and I'm fine. So d5, rook e1, h6, he got much better. Uh, then you should have played queen c3, not being greedy because I got some active play more or less. Queen h mistake I should have taken, but after that I didn't know what to play. Computer says only move is king f1, but it's quite weird to find. Rook d4, this, this, knight g4, king e1, queen c3, king d1, queen b3, this, this, and he's gonna win my bishop and he's better. Knight c3, sublime, I'd go for rook e2. And, yeah, it would be winning. This, 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 and here I had a draw with king h1. This, then queen f5. This, queen d7, I take the knight, it's a draw. And king h8, I simply repeat. Then it's forced to go king g8. Then I check, 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 king f7. Then I take and I have good compensation, and most likely it's a draw. But I played king g1, I miss this, and then queen e2. And queen c mistake. I tried checking him, but then he escaped through g6 and h5. And then he made it male with an infinite master poik 4m. Yeah, so simply knight d4, then queen e3, and uh, and queen e7. And king h1. Uh, for him, it was. don't remember. Was some rucksack at some point, right? Maybe. Yeah, okay, it worked. Uh, and nothing for him. I'm gonna analyze all the games first and I'm gonna analyze them by, well, by one by one on chess base. Since it's matching game, that was a terrible game for which I didn't even get a BM norm. 918 for me and 1055 for him. Uh, if I was a blunder, he had to go for knight c5 because here at queen e2 and computer says I'm better. But it's a really crazy position, I'm not sure why I'm better. Bishop d6, yeah, okay, I get h4, and if it goes bishop h6, I get f4. Okay, that's why I'm better. This is his, rook g6 was a mistake, I'd go for b4, it would be fine. Because here at knight b5, just be greedy, then play bishop f3, no, play g3, and I'm better here. Rook g5 blind, here I'd go for knight c5, and it's equal. And queen h3 was a blind for me, I'd go for d6. The idea is if he takes, I take, take, queen f3, check. This, this, I win in exchange, I'm winning. If he takes my queen, I take his queen. Both the rook hang and I'm completely winning. And if he goes queen d6, I take that. And if he goes queen f6, which computer suggests I can take, take queen h3 with some knight e4 threats, and I'm much, much better as well. Or queen e2, then knight e4, winning in exchange, and I'm winning. Queen g7 mistake, I go for queen d6, and here I'd go for f4 with the idea after rook g6, I take, take. And if rook h8, I get queen f3, queen f2, and I'm winning because in the game, I thought if queen f3, he just gets e4, and I'm losing. I calculated this line, and queen f3, yes, he's taking g2, he's winning. King b6 was we get another blind here to go for rook, rook h8, this, and I go for queen f1, transfer my queen into attack, and it would be better. And again, I had to go for queen f1 because I blinded a queen trade after queen h5. Get a dead loss position. C3 was a blunder from him. He had to simply take d7 and then soon promote the pawn. I had to go for rook e6, rook e8, rook d7. C2, rook d5, this, and I have a good compensation. I have two pawns for a knight, and this pawn doesn't go anywhere. I think it's most likely a draw. And if this, this, he goes c2, I get rook c7. And rook c6, I take. And I'm actually slightly better because take. Rook b8, yeah, his skin is very vulnerable. King before, yes, it was yet another blind, he simply had knight d3 and promoting. King before, yeah, I had no time, but I started pre moving. Rook f4 blind, I go for g4. 
Okay, these blunders didn't really matter. And then I had like 13 seconds or well he had like 70 seconds. But I pre-moved. And then he was thinking for a while about each move. And then here he had 16 seconds while I had 5. So if I would continue checking him back and forth, I would gain some time and then at some point I could maybe even flag him. But unfortunately I pre-moved rook bait, I thought he would go rook h1, so I set up a trap in advance that if he takes rook h8. But yeah, he played rook f8, prevent in rook b8. And then after rook b8 takes, I lost my rook and then he made me lose a matching game. So it was knight to b5, then it was d6, then it was f4, then it was queen f1, then it was rook e6, rook e8, then it was g4, then it was g4, then it was g4, then it was rook b6. And for him it was knight to c5, then b4, then... Then I don't know, knight c5, okay, then queen d6, then rook h8, then it was rook d7 simply take, then knight d3, then here, then here, and then here. Okay, and the final game I've played, which I finally successfully won was in Smochta Badur BD. Uh, he played 3 0 1, I played 2 0 0. Finally, a good game. The opening rookie one was an actually go for D takes him. I just simplified. Then get my knight to a good C4 square. This is here I go for rook C8 with a slightly better position. Stockfish says because in the game he got rook B1, which he missed, and A3, he's luring out my pawn out. Queen d4, queen e3, these things, and that's an easy draw. So he had to go for rook to b1 with the idea of playing queen c5 and a queen trade. Makes sense. This is this. Queen e6 was an inaccuracy. King g7 was an actually to go for queen e6, but I think it was a very nice move because I removed any counterplay by queen e8. And king g2 was one to go for queen c5 with more or less holdable position because after king g2, I managed to play queen d4, queen f1. Knight c4, and my threat is knight e3, for example. He, yeah, he doesn't have a safe square, so this, I play knight e3, king g1, this, this. And here he flagged, but I'm completely winning because this is a weakness, I'm an exchange up, and I have like rook a2 ideas, and I'm completely winning. And then much shabbat or bd. So here we go for queen c5, and that's all. Let's start analyzing the games in chess base now. Is it gonna be suffering? Because a ton of blunders. Except the last game. Last game was pretty decent. So, yeah, let's go. Beautiful Kibitzer. Bishop of I th Yeah, so I played well. Takes, takes. It was so well to take. Bishop of 6 was a mistake, though. Or an inaccuracy. I should have just continued my development. And after castles, then I play bishop d6, so that he doesn't have bishop to queen to e7, excuse me. And then it would be equal. Bishop d6 takes, takes, knight e4. He already got a nice position. Queen d1 was in yet another inaccuracy. I should have played queen to e3. I was worried about knight to c2, but then I have a great move queen to b3. Oops, mouse slip. Queen b3. And both the knight and the bishop hang, and maybe then at some point even the knight there and the rook here may hang. So it's equal. Yeah, this he got a slightly better position. This takes takes rook c8, queen e1, rook c2 was an inaccuracy from him. Or actually a mistake, I'd say. Yeah, he should have played d5, and he would be better. More space, good pawn. Good, good knights, good pieces pretty much on the open file. And my pieces are very, very passive, so he would be better. Knight e4 takes, and queen e4 was a mistake for me. I go for knight e4, and after bishop g2, knight c2, bishop f1, king to f1. It would be equal. Maybe I'm the one who is actually playing for a win. Uh, I saw this position by re evaluated I evaluated incorrectly. And yeah, rook e1 was yet another mistake, I should have played queen e3, with the idea that after rook to b2, I get knight to d4, with the idea of rook c1 and I'm equal, so rook b2 is a mistake for him. Uh, after queen e3, though, he had to go for bishop f3. 
and then takes h6 he again has much better pieces and he is better and meanwhile my pawn is very weak as well okay he played h6 he had a better move knight c6 knight c6 would just be better it's like winning queen c5 before ads yes, i have nothing b3 knight c6 now b3 was yet another mistake should play the queen c3 but okay it doesn't change the fact this this h4 i tried something queen b3 was a mistake I th i'd say he should have yeah just played like queen c3 with the idea of like a5 he's just winning my pieces are just dead here meanwhile his pieces are perfect right there so yeah he's winning queen b3 was a mistake because yeah i got some i got some play queen d7 queen b4 rook d1 95 and then if i was yet another mistake he should have played like g6 or g5 which is actually stronger getting some space for his king a g a g e5 then i guess a5 yeah king g7 with the idea of a5 he's much much better we need was yet another that was actually computer says a mix, yeah big mistake from me I should have played queen to a7 after rook e2 only move king f1 and then after this i get like rook d4 rook f2 this uh knight g4 he's better but still i have some play still not so clear this this knight c was a big blunder from him should have went for rook to e2 with the idea of rook e1 and he is winning queen f7 takes queen e6 rook g2 takes queen b2 king g1 was a huge blunder i should have went king h1 to knight f2 king g1 and knight e1 queen f5 great move and king g8 i go queen e6 this queen d6 with the idea of taking the pawn and i have a good compensation i would say okay queen of two this is and then yeah slowly but surely he went on to win the game i tried checking him but unfortunately no checks worked he hit on h5 and i tried to tell him it which didn't work as well and the same for the poik for him good game uh my game's on leeches and leeches games with analysis then the next game will just be complete pain because there's 10 blunders or something <laughs> so it's gonna be fun um yeah i don't know about evans again but we should be six i'll quickly show you the line which transforms to italian which most likely is about to happen with the best by stockfish and we're not gonna go too too deep on that because in in a whole in a one in one stream we just won't be able to check the whole bishop b6 line so okay after a6 did i play well this e4 move i that was an inaccuracy apparently you should play e4 immediately and bishop b4 bishop g5 that's how you play it all right i messed up the lines uh a6 we move from him e4 b5 e5 h6 bishop h4 this 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 97 it takes up i think it's book if i'm not mistaken or something super similar to a very very famous line no it's not that popular it looks like there's another line which is much more popular okay yeah white played well and they won all right i took should be seven then play d5 was a bad move e5 on the other hand from my opponent was a bad move he had to go for knight to c5 and then takes takes uh queen takes rook d8 and he's slightly better yeah because he has a strong pawn i have a weakness queen of c was a mistake for me there was a super super strong move between queen to e2 with the idea is that my idea is to play h4 and if bishop h6 i go f4 and i'm better as well so that is why i was better this takes takes a4 rook f6 queen h5 queen e7 uh should be two castle takes takes castle rook g6 rook g6 was a mistake from him he should have went to b4 and then after knight d1 knight b6 my pawn is weak here but knight is three knight here knight uh, d5 bishop to d5 queen h4 with equality weird position but it's equal bishop c was a mistake for me i had to go for knight b5 
and then after bishop d5 go g3 with the idea to at some point win this pawn and i would be better he played rook g5 which was a huge blunder uh he go for queen f6 with idea of like rook h8 or queen f4 and that would be equal because queen h3 was blundered back from me i'd have forced to win my d6 if he takes i take and then this thing and this thing and i'm winning if it goes queen d6, I take and win it as well, because I took a rook. And if it goes cd, I take, take, queen f3. King is super, oops, king is super, super weak for him. e4, knight e4, um, d5, knight g5, I'm winning as well. And if you would go queen f6, best line, best top, which I can take, take, then I play queen 2, e2, with the threat of this, this things, this is weak. And I am completely winning. In letter 5, d6, I found the best move. This, this, this. g3 was a big blunder. Misty on the super strong move f4 is the idea that after this I take. And rook g8, then I go g3. I have a strong pawn. This pawn is a weakness. His skin is a weakness. And I am winning as well. He played c6. I played rook a5. Didn't know what to do. Let's see if I was a mistake from him. Oh no, let's see if I was a mistake. King b6 was a mistake, I guess. Yeah. He should have went rook to h8. This is, and after rook a1, he goes queen d4, protecting this pawn, uh, this square with his queen, and it would be equal. This, this, rook a7, queen g6. This was a huge blunder for me. I go for queen f1, and then like queen b1 with perhaps b4 idea, so queen a2, queen a5, that would be better. Because I missed queen h5, otherwise it would be not worse, but I missed queen h5 and I'm, it's a forced queen trade and I'm completely, completely lost here. Rook h6, d7, this, he plays super well, this, rook f5, knight b2, rook a1, knight e6, I decided to be desperate and I took on b5, which, was, which wasn't the best decision, but I had to go for it. Here, here here cc that was a big blunder from him he simply should have taken d7 and he has a super strong pawn and he's completely winning rook e4 was a big blunder for me but i had like 15 seconds i had to find a super nice line rook e6 first then rook to e8 and after he takes takes c2 i play rook d5 and king c4 rook c8 here here and I have compensation most likely i would be able to draw that but in the game i played rook e4 c2 this king b5 rook e1 King b4 was the same mistake from him, he had to go for knight to d3, the idea of c1, he's completely winning, and then comes the fun part, this, I'm not gonna say that there were mistakes or anything, because I'm pretty sure it was, he played very well, and he would be winning no matter what, sure, okay, maybe I'm fine after g4, but I think if you go deep, deep inside this variation, he will be winning, so I'm gonna skip this part, plus I was pre-moving, so... I had like five seconds, so yeah, this is this, all good, and of course, here was a very unfortunate lander from me. Uh, rook to b8. Oh gosh, can you stop, please? Very unfortunate blunder. Rook to b8. I should have went rook to b6, and then check, check. Rook b6, I still have compensation. Of course, I'm dead lost, but he still had to try. Because after this, he simply made it in four moves and lost a matching game. Good game. Um, yeah. My game's on Liches and Liches games with analysis. 3 to 9, right? And 3 30 was against Mojtaba Dorbidi. 3 nil 1 for him and 2 nil nil for me. Somewhat happy with this game. Hello, Jundi. How are you doing? playing with the black pieces and let's go i can skip first eight moves pretty sure we played very well computer only just didn't like rook to d1 from him yeah, it was slight inaccuracy he should have played d takes c5 to bishop c5 castle and i have this weak pawn he's slightly better i have weak isolated pawn but we'll see this is bishop d6 takes castle rook e8 uh, we traded a lot of pieces and i think i managed to simply equalize pretty well knight a5 queen f5 he wasted time queen f5 was slight inaccuracy so he says he'd go for h4 Oops, equality because after this is i want a tempo play knight c4 a4 takes and knight d5 was a mistake from him he simply should have taken knight a4 
and e would be completely equal. You can see a way how I could win because this pawn is a weakness. Idea is knight c3, aim at that pawn, and it is equal. He played knight d5, I found a nice move knight to b2. The idea is if knight f6, I take, and I am better. But I'm actually winning because my this hangs, this hangs, I have a strong passer, and I'm winning, so knight f6 would be a blunder. So queen b2 was played, knight d5. I don't know how that's a mistake, that's the only move. Rook a1, knight b6, queen c3. Rook a1 was a mistake, computer says. He had to go for like rook c1 with the idea of like playing this, 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 and then attacking these two pawns, I guess, with when he, he has a good competition. Knight b6, this rook d8 was a mistake. I should have played rook to c8. And then after queen d2 go king g7, I have the control over the open file, and I am better. In the game d5 was a big, big mistake from him. He had to go for rook to b1, with the idea of queen c5. So the only move is queen of 6 for me. But still, he does this, this, king g2, knight c4, bishop a4. And yeah, I have an extra pawn, but he has a good compensation. And yeah, because in the game I took, I played knight b6, queen a6, queen f6, I decided to activate my rook, rook d2, queen b5, king g7, Stockfish says it's a mistake, but I think it was a good move, and king g2 was a huge blunder from him, he should have played queen c5, protecting this, that putting his queen on that diagonal, and then after queen to b2, trading queens, and then trying to hold something like that with rook a3, trying to hold that position, because in the game I found this, knight c4, and then knight a3, queen a4, and here he forfeited on time, but I was completely winning. Nonetheless, and was much Taba, the bidding. Good game. Good game. And now let's do a little bit of Evans Gambit, the bishop e7 line. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do a sum up of all the lines, because this would take forever. So bishop b6, I mean, sorry, is another move. Mm. Can we play sure? Do you want it now? Do you want it later during d? Um, yeah, the best move is a4. You play a6. And then castle d6, c3. Knight f6, d3. Castle, rook e1, you remove the bishop so you somewhat waste the tempo, but then you play bishop b3 and then knight d2, h6, and I'm pretty sure this is a very popular position in Yuko. Not enough recent grammar schemes. <laughs> okay, but pretty much it's a very slow play. Rook e8, bishop e6, rook e6. This is actually book, right? This is big book now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is quite popular. Queen c2, and from Evans Gambit you transform into Italian. Here you play queen d7, uh, white plays for example knight to f1, then d5, bishop e3, bishop e3, knight e2, e3, then knight to e7, with the idea of knight e6, and this is completely equal. So this, this, what else is there? This, yeah, okay, if not, if castles uh, d6, Knight b4 is a mistake because there is just knight e5 and this is a huge enormous weakness, white is completely winning. So yeah, d6, c3, I think there was a line a6, a5, but then you play bishop to a7 and then after c3 you play knight f6, d3, h6, castles, castles, rook e1, here, here, you play Rook e8, knight bd2, bishop e6, uh, bishop e6, this, queen c2, d5, we see quality once again. So I don't think there is too much to see. Most likely it is going to transpose into Yuko piano because to bishop b6, even, okay, if you play c3, then you play knight f6, white is forced to play d3, then you go here. Uh, d, oops, d6, a4, a5, b5, knight 2, e7, knight d2, castles, castle, knight g6, bishop b3, c6, knight c4, bishop c7, equality as well. And I think that's about it for the Evans Gambit, everybody. Good job who made it through. I'm not gonna, how many lines were this? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. That's a huge, that's like two times the HAD. So that's a lot of, a lot of lines. Good job, everybody who made it through. Good luck, everybody, tomorrow in the tournament. It's going to be at 6 p.m. CT. So, Junji, do you want to play today or next, or some, sometime else? Or do you want to play today, Junji? Let me know. So, yeah. Thanks all to everybody for watching nonetheless. Thank you so much for Baruch Zero for 10 bits. And, yeah. Don't forget to join the Discord, everybody. Okay, Johnny redeemed. All right, Johnny D. Gonna challenge you. Johnny D2101. Go to Leeches, Johnny. Uh, no, not correspondence. Real time, two minutes. Casual. All right, Johnny, I challenged you. Let me claim that. Okay, Johnny, I claimed the points. Okay, ooh, let's go, E4. The elephant again bit. Elephant gambit. Oh no. Jenny, will you please see elephant gambit? Okay, no elephant gambit. Alright. No elephant gambit against Johnny. Ah, he's trapping me! He made me play the dragon. And I thought, hey, this is not fair if you're not going. I, I signed up for the for the elephant gambit, but you made me play the most complex line in the world, the dragon. Ha <laughs> ha, Johnny, sneaky. I don't. I, I have zero idea on how if I, if I'm playing this correctly or not. 95, 96, though, looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna trade the queens, I think. Uh, yes, this. Ah, but he gets bishop of 6, I didn't ruin his pawn structure. I should have waited with g4, I guess. Maybe I would get, yeah, but okay, it's fine. It's a 2-0 game, so... Uh, I'm gonna try to play faster, maybe g4. G4, trying to create some weaknesses for Johnny. H5, uh, C3 looks fine, I think. Uh, no, a4, a5, creating another weakness looks interesting, I think. Okay, please, a5 himself. Let's bring my king over. Mm, nah, I'm tempted to play h6 or something. But I don't think it's worth it. Bishop d1. Perhaps moving my rook. Sliding my rook over to the h12, well, maybe making a breakthrough there. Rook d3, if this king is 3 or rook is 3 for now, and then bishop b3. Okay, rook to h3. I take with the rook, idea is rook to b5. I like my position. Uh, bishop f3, e5 idea. Here. Right, e5 doesn't work, check. King c2, I want to play b3, rook b5 so much. Or e5 now, this is red. e5, rook moves, rook b6. Okay, now nah, but this is winning. I take... Oh, 
and stick with the rook. Save pre move, and then yeah, I should be able to win that. Another joining game. Good game, Johnny. That was a nice game. Uh, no elephant gamut, unfortunately, but still. Good game. I think, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with how I played. Maybe Stockfish isn't. But not knowing how to play, I created weaknesses for him and it paid off. Alright, he had rook c5. Yeah, maybe it was slightly better, but it was hard to get the advantage. I played 1-1-0, one, one I think. Yeah, I played 1-1-0, one, one, pretty nice. And 2 one nil. okay. So I should have played Kid B1, Stockfish says. This we got an equal position, maybe it was slightly better. Bishop c4 inaccuracy you should have taken. Right, takes and then king h6, really good blockade for the pawn. I should, the computer says I should have taken and accept the draw in this endgame. But I, decided, I wanted to play more. King c2 was a mistake, I should have played rook d5. And you should have played rook c5. And if I trade, you are much better in the endgame because your king goes to f4. And then these two will be weaknesses. And if I go rook f4, I mean this just can't be good. f6, I'm like king h6, king g5, you are better I think. And this f takes c was a blunt, you had to go for rook c8 and it would be more or less equal still. I would take, try to win, but yeah, f takes c, you land an exchange, and I went on to win. Good game, Johnny, that was a nice one. And once again, thanks a lot everybody for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed the stream, guys. It was not too good games, not very good games against Life Open, but I still managed to win. Quite happy. Then great puzzle solving, get back to 3900 and a good game against Journey. Thanks a little bit for watching. Once again, don't forget to join the Discord to not miss out any future updates. And take care, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye, Yachi. Bye, Karma. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Vampire Rage. Bye, by Isony. Bye, Char the Charlie Chaplin. Bye, Barry Zero. Thanks for 10 bits. Bye, Phil Filio Filitofit. Bye, Eloy. Bye, Buffalo. And everybody who was here, thanks for everybody for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in the Amazon Abbot at 6 pm CET. And yeah, take care, everybody, and bye bye.